All right, well, it's summertime, and what's better on a summer day than country style ribs? I want to do these with a dry rub. Very simple dry rub on the barbecue. Yeah, let me show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a dry rub with, I don't know, about a tablespoon of salt, and pepper, some paprika. garlic powder onion powder a little bit of celery salt now celery salt is very powerful you gotta be careful with this I've used it in the past and it really changes the, the flavor drastically so be careful with celery salt chili powder I'm gonna use chipotle chili pepper for a little bit of a different smokier flavor and of course no rim dry rub is complete without a little sweeter sweetener and of course I like some brown sugar so a little bit of that stir that all up and what I've got here is um, some country style ribs there's no bone these are boneless but these are beautiful. Just look at this thick pork, boneless ribs. They're gonna cook up real nice. You wanna make sure that they're seasoned up with this nice dry rub. Make sure you get every, every corner, every crevice. Make sure you get all sides. Oh! Oh, jeez. I'm spilling all over the place. I'm not the most graceful. I make a mess, my wife will tell you. She cleans up after me, and uh, I do a real good job making a mess. But my food comes out good. So there's the payoff. Good food, big mess. That should be the name of my channel. Good food, big mess. Big bucks, messy, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. All right, just like that, all right? Boom. All you have to do from here is wrap it with some aluminum foil. All you gotta do is stick this in the refrigerator for a couple hours, an hour, two, three, four hours. Let that seasoning, let that dry rub really start extracting all those natural juices and I'll show you in a couple hours what it looks like and uh, we'll get them on a nice hot grill well a really simple easy rub barbecued country style ribs all right so I'll see you in a couple hours all right so let me show you this here it's been a couple hours and I just took it out of the refrigerator and I want to show you that when it sits for that long look how wet it, it pulls all that moisture out and it just looks juicy and it's so ready to go on the barbecue so now that it's been marinating in those dry rub spices and it's extracted all that moisture it's ready to go on the barbecue now i've been preheating this barbecue for about 15 minutes um, it's about 500 degrees so i'm going to put these down for about two three minutes each side and just constantly rotating them and then i'm going to probe them with my thermometer and I'm gonna try and bring them up to a temperature of 145 degrees, and then I'm gonna pull them off. All right, so let's get these on here now, and uh, I'll show you how to do that. Now, I think it's a really good idea to um, spray down a little oil on the grate so the, so, the, um, so, the, so the ribs don't stick. So I'm gonna use a little canola oil, And look at that. See that beautiful color right there? That's what you're looking for. So I'm gonna roll it to the other side. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous color. Woohoo! That's exactly what you're looking for. All this caramelization. I don't know if it's really caramelization, but it's a nice char. Alright, so now we're just gonna let that side cook for about three minutes or so and then we'll flip it to another side. There's four sides. So one, two, three, four, and then I'll check it with the temp. I'll check, I'll probe it and make sure the temperature's up to 145. Oh, that looks so pretty. Look at that color. And look at how the juices are just glistening. Alright, let's get some temperature readings. That's about 40, 150 it says. This one here. Looks like it's 145. Hopefully, it's not dried out because... See, that's 145 right there. Look at that. Gorgeous, right? These beautiful ribs, just oozing with flavor and juice. These are gonna be really good. Look at that. I got one more in there that wasn't up to temperature. I'm gonna let that go a little bit longer. And I have a little bit of corn. We're gonna stick some corn up there. Alright, let's check this last piece out here. Give it a little firm. Alright, that's done. Let's bring that in. Move these over. Alright, let's check this. Let those cook. So all we're trying to do here with the corn is just uh, get a little bit of char on it. We stuck it in the microwave, wrapped the saran wrap just to kind of cook it through, make this a little bit quicker. Ordinarily, I put these down and uh, cook them slow and char them and um, uh, completely cook them on the grill. But to save some time, I'll wrap them up in saran wrap and stick them in the microwave for about 10, 15 minutes just to kind of cook them and soften them. And then I'll bring them out here to the barbecue and I'll just rotate them and char them up and get a nice smoky flavor on there. It's a real quick, easy little trick. That's going to cook in all that really good buttery flavor. It's also going to help it char a little bit faster too. It's going to bring some nice color, some nice flavor. Oh yeah. See, I love when the flames kick up. Just, ah, uh, see, there's the color. That's what you're looking for right there. Woo-wee, baby. Woo! Ha! All right, so we got now we got corn. We're gonna go inside, take a look at that rested ribs. Let this cool a little bit, and then we're gonna sit down. And we're gonna eat. All right, so look at this corn. Look how colorful this color, this corn charred up beautifully. It's gonna taste fantastic. And then the ribs. The lighting here is not that great, but man, look at that. All right, so now let's cut into this. All right, it might be a little overcooked. It's not as juicy as I was hoping it would be. But let's take a bite. Mmm. It's actually a lot more juicier than I thought. That was actually a good bite. Mmm. Oh. The flavor, the smokiness of the barbecue, yes, absolutely. This actually came out really, really good. A little bit more butter on my corn. And then we're going to take our first bite. Mm. That is so good. That is the best way for fast. I almost like this better, cooking it in the microwave and getting it 
you know, pre-cooked before I bring it out to the barbecue because it, it really, it, it, it's guaranteed to be tender. It soaks up all that butter. The char, oh, this, this is fantastic. I'm very happy, 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 happy. Country style ribs, my way, and corn on the cob, my way. This is Buck's Kitchen. Thanks for watching. If there's something you'd like to see me try, comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And maybe subscribe to my channel, help me out. I'm just getting started, trying to get my feet wet in this whole cooking game. But I'm, I'm pretty good cook. I'm a pretty good cook. I don't know. But, hey, you be the judge. Try my recipes and let me know. Until next time, we'll see you on the next cook.